So hi, today uh, we want to show some another uh, code to make uh, a table like this. I'll show you what I did yesterday. This was a table made uh, in HTML and it was made using pandas and um, I I made it uh, using this style CSS style into a variable and then I um, replaced into this uh, HTML code to make the table. I replaced this here, this thing here, with with this data. But um, and uh, I think there is in an easier way to do it using uh, pandas with the, and using Excel without having to insert the data like this, but inserting the data like this. Uh, you see here I build my my data this one do not have to be um, in uh, like this can be also in other color the output will be always the same and these are the data and uh, let's see let's save it and let's see how can we get an HTML out of this this is called data xls x x and so let's go to the new code that is this one and in this code I always had taken the style here and you can find it of course on my on my blog and um, this is just CSS and then I have this simple code here that does all these works and practically it read the Excel files, get the data into, well, this is, I don't think this is useful. So, uh, okay, uh, it read the data, then save it as uh, in this HTML file, but this HTML file here with pandas, is good but has no style so I made this little tricky thing here mm, I could have done it differently but what would have been complicated I made it simple so I open it again this I save it I open it again and store it in, in here then I um, just replaced uh, some stuff here to substitute the table with this class here that is the class that is used into this style so that um, we will have just uh, this table to be um, changed by this uh, CSS style so if there are other tables that into the HTML page that you don't want to change they will it will uh, this style will not affect the other tables and then I will open again uh, open a new file to write in it that has the same name so it will overwrite that file and so I will write in it the the HTML style plus the um, plus the table that I have saved before and then I uh, then we will show the results as soon as possible just now so it will um, create the table with pandas table has no style and we'll save the file with this table with no style so reload it um, read the the code that has been made, the, the HTML code for a plain table that has been made, and then create a new file, um, adding the style, adding the table uh, code, and the result will be this. You see, there it is. There is just a border here that, well, you may change the style, doesn't matter. The final result is also fine on my blog. For example, and you can see it it's pretty nice here and it fits very nicely into my pages and so uh, well if you you can use this one or the other one that you find I was also making another things to use a, a graphic user interface with Python but I think that using Excel Excel directly as I showed you and uh, it's it's easier 
it's easier so I think I will you see if I add let me see that I can just add copy this paste it in here and I can run this one again to see the result and it should it should be different if I save it there it is you see it has been added now it's seven eight um, eight of these and instead of just uh, four okay so it's very easy you change the thing in here you can add column everything and you will uh, to have um, the HTML code you just have it in here and if you want to post it in your blog you just go grab it copy it and post it in put it into your web page so I think I will use it and I think it can be handy also for you uh, so it's a little bit different by the, this one you can use this one too uh, to show uh, there is just a border here that is different so if you prefer this one go to the latest post if you pre prefer to use pandas use this one and that's that's all for now thank you